how to install .OS official ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install .OS official ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery installed. How do you do that? We have separate videos for those which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because if we run into any boot loops, encryption issues or you're going from Android 10 to Android 11 ROM, you do need to perform a format data. All right peeps, so here we are on MIUI 12 based on Android 10. The first thing we need to do is you will go into settings, password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, you can go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Now what are the files which you need? All the files which you need are linked in the description of the video. So first up you need .os itself. This is the gapps build which is why it has gapps in the name. Then you need the firmware file for the POCO F1 and if your device was decrypted then you need disable force encryption. Now those of you who are on custom ROMs based on AOSP you can go into settings and then if you go into security you will see encryption and credentials as you can see this device here is not encrypted those of you who are on miui based roms you need to go into settings and once you're in settings you can go into password and security and if you go into privacy you will again see this one here encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted so if your device is not encrypted then you do need disable force encryption if your device is encrypted then you do not need disable force encryption but you will have to perform a format data once we are done installing the rom now before you ask me can you do a dirty update from 5.0.1 no it is recommended that you perform a clean flash next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery so turn off your device once the device is turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the recovery logo so here we are in twrp and the version which i am using is linked in the description of the video first up going to wipe advanced wipe select talvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done, we will tap on the home button, go into install. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. First file we need to select is the firmware for the POCO F1 and then add more zips and select the .os file. Do note this is the official build and it has gapps in the name, which means gapps are baked in. So you do not have to flash gapps explicitly. In case you are using the vanilla build and want gapps, then you would have to download and install gapps as well. For now, we will just swipe to confirm flash. Now, once all the files have flashed successfully, we can scroll up, make sure there were no errors. So here it is, you're flashing the firmware. And if you scroll down, you have script succeeded result was one. Similarly, .OS is being flashed. Again, script succeeded result was one. So we will tap on the home button. Now, those of you whose device was decrypted, which does include me, we will go into mount, vendor, make sure vendor is mounted by tapping on it, tap on the home button, go into install, select disable force encryption, and then swipe to confirm flash. Once that is done, we will tap on the home button. Those of you whose device was encrypted or say you're jumping from Android 10 to Android 11, I do recommend that you perform a format data. So you will go into wipe format data, type in yes and then click on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note that format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device my device was decrypted so we are going to skip the step of format data going to reboot and select system 
and there it is we do have the dot os boot animation on the poco f1 do note that the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is as you can see we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and bam we have booted into dot os let me change the exposure a little bit so that it is easier on the eyes and go into settings new ui in the building about phone poco f1 android version is of course 11 g apps build and security patch of course is from may 2021 we can also check out what is the launcher which is baked in so we can go into settings apps and notifications and default apps home launcher is pixel launcher out of the box have a look at that ui doesn't it look pretty great let us try to change the wallpaper a little bit go into built-in papers and let us use this one and say apply home and lock screen both and see what happens bam everything changed to the green color so yes the monet wannabe is working like a boss and there it is peeps that is how you install dot os on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you